In today's special feature, we explore the deep history of our planet, focusing on the first major mass extinction event, the end Ordovician mass extinction, which took place around 444 million years ago. This catastrophic event wiped out approximately 85% of marine species, marking a significant turning point in the history of life on Earth. The end Ordovician mass extinction was primarily triggered by dramatic environmental shifts, starting with a severe ice age as the supercontinent Gondwana drifted over the South Pole. The rapid cooling and subsequent glaciation caused significant sea level drops, drastically reducing marine habitats and exposing continental shelves. This abrupt change imposed severe stress on marine organisms accustomed to stable, warm conditions. However, the story doesn't end with the Ice Age. As the glaciers melted, the planet went through rapid warming and rising sea levels, which further disrupted marine environments. These drastic changes led to widespread anoxia, or low oxygen levels in the oceans, which suffocated the remaining marine life. Despite the devastation, life on Earth proved resilient. The mass extinction cleared numerous ecological niches, which were eventually filled by new species setting the stage for new evolutionary pathways. This event underscores the dynamic and often volatile nature of Earth's environmental history and serves as a poignant reminder of the impacts sudden global changes can have on life. As we conclude our exploration of the end Ordovician mass extinction, the resilience of life paves the way to the next chapter in Earth's history. Join us as we next uncover the mysteries of the late Devonian mass extinction, where life on Earth faced another wave of challenges and transformations. In this episode, we delve into the second major mass extinction in Earth's history, the late Devonian mass extinction, which occurred approximately 375 million years ago. This event was not as sudden as others, but unfolded over a series of pulses that collectively led to the extinction of about 75% of Earth's species over a span of millions of years. The late Devonian period was a time of significant evolutionary innovation. Fish diversified rapidly, and the first forests began to take root, fundamentally altering ecosystems both underwater and on land. However, this period of rapid change also set the stage for ecological instability. One of the main factors contributing to the late Devonian extinction was significant environmental changes. As plants rapidly colonized the land, they contributed to the depletion of CO2 in the atmosphere, possibly leading to global cooling. Additionally, the roots of these pioneering plants broke down rocks and soils, releasing nutrients into rivers. This caused eutrophication in the oceans, where an excess of nutrients led to algal blooms, depleting oxygen in the water and creating dead zones unable to support marine life. Marine life, particularly those in shallow waters, was severely affected. Reef-building organisms, which had flourished during the earlier parts of the Devonian, faced catastrophic declines. The extensive reef systems that had dominated the ocean landscape began to disappear a change that dramatically altered marine biodiversity. Volcanic activity and changes in sea levels also played a role, further stressing environments already made fragile by other ongoing transformations. These factors combined in a deadly feedback loop where each change amplified the stress on global ecosystems. Despite the severity of this extinction, it paved the way for new forms of life to emerge and dominate. The gaps left by extinct species led to the rise of other organisms, setting the stage for the next chapter in the evolutionary saga, which would eventually lead to the dominance of dinosaurs in the subsequent Mesozoic era. The late Devonian extinction reminds us of the complex interplay between life and the environment, illustrating how biological innovations can radically alter the planet, sometimes at a great cost to existing forms of life. This extinction event serves as a testament to the fragility and resilience of life, a theme that echoes throughout Earth's history and continues to resonate in today's discussions on biodiversity and conservation. In this episode, we explore the third major mass extinction event in Earth's history, the end Permian mass extinction, also known as the Great Dying. Occurring around 252 million years ago, this event stands as the most severe extinction crisis the planet has ever faced, 
wiping out approximately 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. The end Permian extinction's catastrophic impact reshaped life on Earth dramatically. This period marked the end of the Permian period and the beginning of the Triassic, fundamentally altering ecosystems and paving the way for new evolutionary pathways. Several factors contributed to this unprecedented loss of life. One of the primary causes is believed to be massive volcanic eruptions in what is now Siberia. These eruptions released vast quantities of lava and ash, but more critically, immense volumes of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. This led to severe global warming and a runaway greenhouse effect. The climate change was extreme. Temperatures soared, causing hyperthermal conditions that proved lethal for many species. The warming also led to widespread ocean anoxia, as warmer waters hold less oxygen. This lack of oxygen suffocated marine life, decimating oceanic ecosystems. Another lethal blow from the eruptions was the emission of massive amounts of sulfur dioxide, which resulted in acid rain. This acid rain had a devastating effect on the planet's flora and subsequently, the herbivores that depended on it, further cascading through the food chain to affect entire ecosystems. Compounding these environmental disasters were dramatic fluctuations in sea levels, which disturbed marine habitats, and an increase in ocean acidity, which made the waters hostile to life. Calcifying organisms such as corals and shellfish were particularly vulnerable to these changes, suffering massive die-offs. The aftermath of the Great Dying was a world almost devoid of life, with vast empty landscapes and silent oceans. However, as devastating as this event was, it set the stage for a remarkable period of recovery and innovation. Life is resilient, and in the empty niches left by extinct species, new life forms evolved. The Mesozoic era that followed saw the rise of dinosaurs and the dominance of reptiles on land and in the sea. The end Permian mass extinction underscores the profound impact environmental changes can have on life. It serves as a stark reminder of the volatile nature of Earth's history and a warning about the potential consequences of rapid changes in our current global environment. As we continue to explore Earth's past mass extinctions, we gain insights into the resilience and adaptability of life and the critical balance needed to sustain it. Next, we delve into the fourth major mass extinction in Earth's history, the end Triassic mass extinction, which occurred around 201 million years ago. This event resulted in the loss of approximately 80% of the planet's species, significantly reshaping ecosystems both on land and in the oceans. The end Triassic extinction is particularly notable for its timing, coinciding with massive volcanic eruptions and the initial breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea. These volcanic activities released enormous quantities of lava and greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide, into the atmosphere, leading to profound climate change and increased ocean acidity. One of the most significant impacts of these volcanic emissions was the disruption of carbon cycles, which led to heightened levels of carbon dioxide and reduced oxygen levels in the oceans. This anoxic condition was detrimental to marine life, especially to those species reliant on oxygen-rich environments. The acidification of the oceans further complicated survival conditions, making it difficult for marine calcifiers such as shellfish and coral to thrive. On land, the changing climate and environmental instability led to a loss of biodiversity among plant and vertebrate communities. The lush vegetation that characterized the late Permian and early Triassic periods began to dwindle affecting the herbivores that depended on it, and by extension, the predators that fed on these herbivores. The end Triassic extinction opened up ecological niches that would soon be filled by new groups of animals. Notably, it set the stage for the rise of the dinosaurs, who would come to dominate the landscape throughout the Jurassic period. This shift marked a significant turning point in the Mesozoic era, leading to an age dominated by these iconic reptiles. The causes and effects of the end Triassic mass extinction highlight the sensitivity of Earth's ecosystems to large-scale environmental changes. These events serve as a reminder of the delicate balance required to maintain life, and they underscore the potential consequences of environmental disruptions. 
As we reflect on this ancient mass extinction, we gain insights into the resilience of life and the evolutionary processes that can arise from times of crisis and change. Next, we explore the fifth major mass extinction event, the end Cretaceous mass extinction, which occurred about 66 million years ago. This event is perhaps the most famous of the mass extinctions as it led to the demise of the dinosaurs, along with approximately 75% of all species on Earth. This cataclysmic event marked the end of the Cretaceous period and paved the way for the rise of mammals on land and significant evolutionary developments in marine and terrestrial ecosystems. The primary cause of the end Cretaceous extinction is widely attributed to a colossal asteroid impact near the present-day Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The impact created the Chicxulub Crater and triggered a series of environmental disasters that had immediate and long-term effects on the planet's climate and life forms. The force of the impact ejected massive amounts of debris into the atmosphere, significantly reducing sunlight and lowering global temperatures. This impact winter was catastrophic for photosynthetic organisms and the food chains that depended on them. In addition to the asteroid impact, significant volcanic activity in what is now India also played a role in this mass extinction. The Deccan Traps, one of the largest volcanic provinces on Earth, were the site of immense and prolonged volcanic eruptions that spewed vast quantities of lava and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This volcanic activity contributed to climate change by causing warming, acid rain, and further destabilizing ecosystems already reeling from the asteroid impact. The oceans were not spared from this environmental upheaval. The acidification of the oceans and a reduction in the availability of calcium carbonate severely impacted marine calcifiers such as plankton, corals, and shellfish. These changes led to a drastic reduction in marine biodiversity and altered the structure of marine ecosystems. On land, the extinction of dinosaurs created vast ecological niches that were quickly filled by mammals, which had previously lived in the shadows of giant reptiles. This new era, the Paleogene period, saw the rapid evolution and diversification of mammals, eventually leading to the dominance of human ancestors. The end Cretaceous mass extinction illustrates the vulnerability of Earth's biodiversity to sudden global environmental changes. It serves as a powerful example of how catastrophic events can reshape life on Earth, leading to the extinction of dominant groups and the emergence of new life forms. This event, more than any other, underscores the interconnectedness of Earth's biological and geological histories, reminding us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet.